What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've made a video, especially a gold prospecting video. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name's Kyle. Uh, Kyle Thiemann. It's uh, my channel name, actually. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I make a lot of gold prospecting videos, and most are in Missouri. And uh, I make a lot of random videos as well. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I will be making a ton of new content. A lot, a lot of videos are coming soon. Um, yeah, so uh, I apologize. It's taken me this long to get back in the creek. Um, yeah, it's just been hectic with work and uh, injured my back. But uh, I'm still going. We're gonna go find some gold today. All I'm bringing is a gold pan, snuffer bottle, uh, a couple crevicing tools, and uh, the whole homemade nugget sucker that Catfish Jim made. Shout out to Catfish Jim. Call me, buddy. Miss ya. We need to get back in the creek together. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drive down to the creek, and I will see you when I get there. All right, guys, I made it down to the creek. Well, the other side of the creek. Um, I'm on the opposite side of the valley I used to work. And I had stopped my truck because I thought I saw a turtle. I saw this nice old lady over here. Got to talking. And uh, she gave me permission to prospect her area. And uh, it looks decent. Especially uh, with these guys here, I, I see bedrock. I'm just looking for, uh, you know, just the basic materials that I need to find to find the gold, which is all the heavies. So we have one spot down. I'm gonna go ahead and drive down a little bit further and uh, see if there's a better spot with a lot of exposed bedrock so I could use those crevicing tools. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna hop in my truck and drive down the road, and see what we can find. Yeah, guys, there's a lot of bedrock here. I'm glad I came down here. I could probably park up the road and walk down here if I wanted to. But, uh, it looks promising. Check all that bedrock out, guys. Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that nice drop off. There's a crack right after that drop off. I don't think I can pass that up. Alright guys, I just couldn't pass it up. I'm uh, literally parked right off the road. But uh, take a look at this stuff. It's beautiful. Nice drop offs. I don't see... Well, actually, I do see a little bit of hematite. This one's super nice. Everything flows down in here and there's a nice crack in here. As well as up here. It's like a natural sluice box in the creek. You know? This is going to be a good one. Anyways. Enough talking. Let's get some tools out and uh, try to find some gold. I think today I'm going to show you how to find gold wherever you are. So let's just hope I find some gold. All right, guys, if you're new to prospecting, uh, this is what I call a hand dredge. You could make these. There's probably plans on Google 
or whatnot. Um, but yeah, all you do is just put it in the water and just pull this thing and uh, put it right in your gold pan. And there's other options with these things too. They can come with a hose and a bucket. So you just pump and pump and pump and it just goes straight into your bucket. But anyways, um, so when you're in a creek, you're gonna try to find the lowest spot because gold is heavy. It's heavy like lead. Um, you gotta understand the stratification process with the materials to understand where the gold will go. Um, but most likely the gold will go as deep as possible. Po bleh, deep as possible. Um, it'll uh, be wedged in cracks at the bottom of all the cracks. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna work this crack until I get to the bottom of it. And uh, we'll do some pans, test pans and stuff like that as well throughout um, this crack that we dig. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. You can make it a little easier on yourself getting the bigger rocks out. You can tell these big guys have been stuck in here for years. But after this, we'll get uh, the hand dredge in here. And uh, don't forget about your crevice tools. It makes it easy too. You can just break everything up. It loosens up those big rocks pretty easy. And uh, here's our first uh, chunky hematite. So this is a very good sign. All right, let's clean this up and uh, do a test pan after I get some material. Uh, we're just going to go crazy on this thing. Alright, let's see what this uh, pay dirt looks like. Let's go take a look. I don't see that much hematite, but you never know. Let's go ahead and pan it out. So the stratification process I was talking about earlier, um, this is pretty much it. You're shaking this, the materials and all the light material is actually going to the top. Um, it doesn't matter if you have a BB the size of, well, a BB, it's going to go to the bottom and a rock this size that's lighter is going to go to the top. So you just want to shake it in all directions. Pretty much after a few good shakes, your gold's already at the bottom. You really don't have to worry about it. Some people will say, oh, you're panning too fast, blah, blah, blah. Nah. It's on the bottom. So then you wanna gently get that top layer off. But when you get that top layer off, all the bottom stuff moves to you. They shake it back down and repeat. And you go faster too, like this. So we did not get skunked. Let me fix this camera again. Put my finger up to it. Right there. You guys see that? It's a little bit smaller than a pepper, I'd say. So, uh, what I do before I leave my house is uh, I get my snuffer bottle and I'll put a little bit of dish soap in it because it seems whenever I bring 
jet dry in my book bag, um, it explodes in my book bag every single time. So we will try to find my snuffer bottle really quick. Stay tuned. Alrighty, so yeah, here's my snuffer bottle. Just a basic snuffer bottle you can find on Amazon or wherever. Probably like a dollar. But uh, where was I? Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, look, we have already found our first piece of gold. It's not big or anything, but we do know there's gold here. And as you see, we have hematite and uh, is this a nail? Yep. So that's a, that's a nice nice little drop off that we have here. I'm interested to see what else is in it. So I'm gonna snuff this up and we'll get back to work. And one more thing to you beginner prospectors: if you guys go on someone's property or ask property, like I did, um, pick up your trash and if you find any lead or nails, screws, any sort of metal or anything that you don't think is supposed to be in the creek, just take it out of there. Um, the homeowner will appreciate it and you're doing a lot for the environment as well. Uh, I hate seeing trash in creeks. Um, I saw a TV down the street just uh, laying in the water earlier. So I might, you know, I might even just throw that in the back of my truck just to get it out of here. But yeah, people can really be disgusting. But uh, yeah, so I just keep all the metals, all the toxic stuff out of the creek. Just make a little pile and then throw it in a water bottle or something at the end of the day. But uh, yeah, let's get back, back to the gold. The water cleared up a little bit and you could tell I am nowhere near the bottom. So this is going to be fun. All right, what I'm going to do next is just pull out some more of these bigger rocks. Okay, we have our mud soup over here, or should I say clay soup. If you have any clay balls in there, just break them up with your fingers. Just be careful, there might be glass. That's why people wear gloves. You know, they sell those things at stores. But wait, there's more. Check it out. One, two, three. Three pieces so far. There you go. My finger up to it. There's one. There's two. And there's three. 
<laughs> they gradually get smaller. And then you can see all the heavies that were in here. You see the hematite, all these nails. So toxic for the fish. All right. I'll go ahead and clean this up, get the trash out, and we'll get back to the hole. See how deep that hole is getting. Probably going to do this whole crack. Alright, I'm going to work where the waterfall goes right over this crack. It's probably the best spot. In my opinion, just because I would feel if this creek was flooded, this is the center of the creek, obviously, and uh, there's a crack right here, and gold's heavy, so it just fall and stay. Let's see. Let's see if I'm right. I got you guys on uh, the headband for a GoPro. So, uh, sorry if it's not lined up correctly. I'll try my best here. I'll just shoot it like that. I believe I saw a little chunky piece of gold in there. Interesting. More out, there we go. All right, that is a lot of trash. But I do see gold still. Okay. I don't know what the camera's pointing, guys, but there's two nice little chunky pieces right there. I'll take it off my head real quick. There's a headband in the water. Awesome. How about I just set this thing down? There you go. On the left and right of my index finger, you can see them. Little peppers. We need to find the big brother, the mom, the pot, the nuggets. Actually, guys, one second. I uh, think I just found a pretty decent sized piece of gold in this pan. Let me pan this down once more. I'll do this on camera as well. Okay, I'm gonna stay. Put it out here. Okay. Just like that for now. I could have sworn I saw a big flake in here. I said that earlier too. It's crazy looking out there. Piece of pyrite, some fool's gold. Where did that flake go? I know it's in here. It was floating with all the metal. I see it. There it is. Oh yeah. There we go, guys. Oh, there's another piece. Put all of them together. I'll have to go through it again. But, check this out. I don't like buying another GoPro. Let me uh, wipe the screen off real quick. Sorry. Look at that big chunker. That's a nice piece of gold right there. Yeah, buddy. We're on it. Look at all this trash. All the nails. I'm going to put them all in a water bottle. All right, let's snuff it up. Got a nice collection going on. Nails.
There's a super, super tiny crack in here. I'm gonna have to get a thin little screwdriver to get in that. This is a nice deep uh, pocket. This might, oh, you got something big. Wow, that's been in there for a while. Looks like sandstone. There's two sitting right there. Another one. Oh, that's a twig. Jeez, that's so dangerous. Look at that. Well, I thought I was recording the whole time, but uh, yeah, I just got to the bottom of that little crack I was working. Go take it over to the painting station. I'm gonna flip it back just for the heck of it, just to see what's in here. See a little piece of gold up there. There's a lot of blinds in here still. All right, it's time to flip it back. That is a lot of lead, as you can see there. A lot of lead, but we didn't get skunked again. We've had gold in every single pan. And that's the reason I wanted to do this video because I wanted to show you, you can pretty much find gold anywhere. What I usually do, look for the hematite the uh, black sands obviously everyone knows that quartz is a good indication um, because it's also heavy and lead and uh, I mean look at this spot it goes like this drops off it goes like that again drops off and again so this is just a huge sluice box and a lot of work to do still. I'm gonna sift through this. Hopefully we can find another little flake or two, but uh, I'll get that trash out. And um, yeah, we'll do another pan. go ahead and make my way to the left side move this a little closer Go. 
Let's just take a look at the material. I see some heavies. Break that clap. Oh my goodness. Big old nails. And this is what we're looking at. I see gold up top. I see quite a few pieces. There's about five little colors up there. One, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, who knows what's in this. So I'll snuff that up, clean it up, and... All right, well, I'm gonna go to town on this crack. Um, I'm going to uh... obviously do a pan when it's full, but uh, once I get down to the heavies, I'm gonna start filming. I am down to the heavies. Oh, there's that piece of gold right there. But all right, let me clean this trash up and then we'll get back to it. I'm just gonna do a little surface run here. See if anything's laying on the top. I was just doing this pan and I thought I got skunked. And then I uh, swirled it around a bit and uh, check that chunker out. I can roll that around and feel it. Nice. And snuff that bad boy up. Yeah, but this has uh, quite a bit of lead in it. Look at all that, guys. That's a lot, just for one pan. What's up, guys? I'm back. All right, so remember when I was explaining how you could find gold everywhere? No. I'm in a non-bearing gold state right now. So all I have is glacier drift um, from up north. But uh, I looked at those maps and uh, I've heard of people, or actually seen people find gold where uh, they say the glaciers were not. So gold is where you find it. Uh, don't listen to anyone. <laughs> but, uh, Whoa, almost ate it again. What I want to do is find some low spots in this creek, such as these little pockets that you can see here that just collect heavies. I'm going to do some test pans there. And uh, also, I noticed this drop off in bedrock. So I bet you if I work this line right here, I'll be able to find some gold. There's just so many places in this creek to uh, prospect. Um, obviously not gonna get it get to it all today. I'll probably be back here every single day and uh, be making videos. But yeah, let me go grab my pan and we'll head back down and uh, we'll test those spots out. See if uh, the low spots have gold. Okay, I am in the spot. I have decided I am going to dig down right here in this area, straight down, and uh, just keep doing test pans. We'll see how deep the 
the uh, bedrock is on this side. First thing to do is just go get the camera to stay up, right? Anyways, first thing to do is just take off all these big rocks. Okay, well, the other side of that bedrock is about uh, three feet. So we're gonna need a dredge to get down to the bottom of that, Jake. <laughs> but I'm gonna stick to my original plan. It's gonna come back up here and uh, work some cracks. There's a tunnel out in here. That means there should be a ton of gold. Holy moly. We got a full one. I see hematite everywhere. I am down to the heavies. I see a lot of hematite so far. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more blondes out. Ah, you know what? Never mind. Let's just flip her back. A lot of lead. A lot of iron. Hey, we got some gold. Oh, wow. Got quite a few pieces, actually. All right, I'm gonna try to clean this up just a tad bit more. There it is. Some more gold. I bet there's more in there. I just did a quick little pan. I'm gonna snuff those up and then uh, go through it again. I don't uh, kick this thing over. Look at all that stuff. Cool, we got a pan with about 10 colors in it and uh, some of them were pretty chunky. Um, we're not to the bottom of this crack yet at all, so I know there's bigger gold down there. It's a tight one. All right, so this is where I left off. And uh, I just shoved my finger down there and I feel clay. It's not that hard, hard clay. It's uh, mixed with all the sands and heavy, so that's good. I don't know if I can get this rock. Well, I'm on my last GoPro battery, so that sucks. Um, I'm gonna work as fast as possible and find as much gold as possible in the time being I have. So let's get to it. Alrighty, I am going to get some more material out of that crack, my snuffer bottle. Alrighty, we got some pay dirt. Some water in I see a bunch of lead, metal. There's gold right here. Gold right here and right here. Nothing significantly big. A few peppers. But I'll go through it once again. Usually in uh, areas like this, the gold is super flat and it'll stay with all this heavy stuff. That's what happened earlier with that, that flake I got. 
Yeah, there's a couple pieces up there. Yep, I think I just have to get to the bottom of it. Alrighty. Just look how trashy this is. Bunch of filth. A lot of heavies though. Here's another pay dirt pie. Let's see what we got. A bunch of lead. Oh, we got a bunch of color too. This might be our best pan of the day. Let me make sure all that gold stays up top. Oh, there's a chunky piece that came down here. There we go. Nice. Oh yeah, look at all that. Bring it all to the top. I'm sure there's more in here too. I'd say that's about 20 colors total. Let's see if I get close up on it for you guys. All them right there. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm gonna clean it up and see if there's any more. <laughs> Just see the amount of stuff I pulled out. Getting pretty heavy. Take the lead and metal out of the creek if it is in your pan. There we go. I just moved this big rock out of the way. It was on this bank line on the inside of this bend by this tree with a lot of roots. Um, I'm gonna do a couple scoops in the pan, see if there's any gold in it. So what I'll do here is grab a bunch of roots, throw them in there. Oh my goodness, I almost just fell backwards into the creek. Oh yeah, this is a nice piece right here. What do you guys think? Think there's gonna be gold in it? Well, we didn't get skunked. We have one piece up there. All right, back to the crack. All right, trying something else here. Just spraying this bedrock down. There's a little dip in the end of it right here where I could uh, suck everything up. Just thinking maybe there was some gold laying on top of this. I mean, it has to run over it first. Look at this, guys. Look at all that metal. Just nails and lead. That's a lot, just for one crack. Can you imagine if I cleaned out every crack in this creek? how much trash there would be. <sighs> but yeah, I... What's up guys, I just got home and uh, I had purchased brand new black pants. For you beginners, when you buy a new pan, um, it comes with oils on it from the manufacturer. So I will show you what to do with that. Or you can just take sandpaper to it or um, uh, 
I don't know, whatever you clean dishes with, that steel wool stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll be able to see the gold a lot better with these pans. And I also bought a brand new macro lens, so it's uh, perfect, perfectly clear and everything. So uh, I have the gold in the green pan. It's been drying out. Um, I'm just gonna transfer it over. And another thing, if you don't know where to buy a gold pan, if you can't get online for some reason, uh, I got this from Bass Pro. It was like six bucks. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know, just be careful with this sticker because you know, it gets stuck and everyone hates when that happens. But yeah, I'll get this off and uh, just put the gold in it. I'm not gonna scuff this up yet uh, because I don't have any water in it. It's not gonna cause the gold to float or anything. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna transfer it over and we'll see what we got. All right guys, we're going in. See if I can get some more light down here. There we go. Remember what I was saying about those, uh, those little gold BBs? There's one right there. I'll tip the pan a little bit and watch how it acts. See if we could do it again. There's that big flake. It's pretty crazy. This gold traveled very, very far to get here. Yeah, guys, that's, uh, that's it. That's some Missouri gold for you. One piece is, uh, enough to make us happy out here. You'd hear it. back out tomorrow for sure and hopefully we get some more of that stuff guys I hope you enjoyed this video I sure did enjoy making this video even though it was a hot one today um, tomorrow I'm gonna be going back for sure um, I should be okay there uh, I got permission I'm on private property so I think I may okay um, I, Pretty easy access, just park on the side of the road and uh, yeah, just walk there. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, share the love. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I guess see you guys.